वेलकम बैक टू माई चैनल इफ यू हैव रेड द टॉपिक एंड देन क्लिक ऑन दिस वीडियो देन आई नो दैट यू आर वन ऑफ दोज हुज ऑल फॉर एवर कन्फ्यूज ऑन हाउ टू मेजर योर ब्रा साइज हाय दिस इज जेनी गांधी आई एम एन इमेज कंसल्टेंट अ स्टाइल क्यूरेटर एंड अ सस्टेनेबल स्टाइल एडवोकेट ऑन दिस चैनल यू विल फाइंड रियल रिलेटेबल वेरेबल स्टाइलिंग आइडियाज समथिंग दैन कैन यूटिलाइज फॉर योर डे टू डे लाइफ नाउ आई एम एन इमेज कंसल्टेंट फॉर द लास्ट टेन ईयर्स एंड वाई लाइ टेल पीपल ऑन वॉट टू वेयर हाउ टू ड्रेस अप हाउ टू स्टाइल लॉन्चरी हैज ऑलवेज बीन एन इंटेग्रल पार्ट ऑफ माई वर्किंग विद दैम I have two videos on YouTube I'm going to link them up here one is the bra hacks 101 another one is what kind of bras to wear with what kind of tops t-shirts and the three basic bras that all of us need whenever i do this series or when i have a lingerie series on instagram whenever i do these series the most common question that i get from women is what is my size how do i know what is my size and then i realize that there are so many confusing things out there on the internet that one company says another thing one company says another thing so like i always say real relatable wearable i am going to simplify measuring bra size for you today let's move on for this you need a measuring tape preferably with inches and centimeters both you need a pen and you need a book or a paper to jot down let's begin by measuring ourselves now first when you start measuring yourself you need to wear a non padded or a lightly padded bra or if you are comfortable in the privacy of your place you could also go braless and measure yourself take your measuring tape inches side and across your under bust this is called how to find your band size okay bra has a band size and a bust size so you will take your tape across your bust under bust it cannot be too tight that you're not able to breathe so do a finger test your one or two fingers should be able to go inside that tape while you're measuring if it's too tight and your fingers not able to go that means that your bra is going to be too tight and if it's too loose then also you will come to know so make it exactly the perfect measurement not to loose not too tight the next thing is when you are measuring yourself the tape has to be parallel to the floor which means it can't be up or it can't be down it has to be parallel to the floor so the under bust measurement when it is too down it won't give you a perfect measurement or when it is up and you're measuring your under bust it won't give you perfect measurement so you need it parallel to your floor under your bust hope you are noting down all the measurements of the under bust that we took on the piece of paper step 3 is measuring your bust now take the measuring tape around the fullest part of your bust again parallel to the ground fullest part of your bust can't be too loose too tight you are measuring your bust without wearing a bra and if gravity has played its role then what you need to do is bend down then take the measuring tape around the fullest part of your bust same rules apply not to loose not to tight and the tape has to be parallel to the ground when you are bending down it's easier for you to measure the fullest part of your bust when you're not wearing a bra the step for this measuring your cup size The bust fuller bust measurement of step 2 was 38 inches the band size was 34 inches so cup size is bust measurement minus band measurement in this case 38 minus 34 which gives us 4 inches if you look at the table then the difference of 4 inches is b so bra size is your band size which is your under bust size which is 34 in this case plus the difference which is the of which is the cup size sorry that means 34b is the bra size 
So what we've seen so far is that your under bust was 34 and your fuller bust was 38 and, and that's how we came to a 34D. But what happens if your under bust is not even numbered? So what if you are a 33 inches or a 35 inches under the bust? Let's move on and see what to do in those cases. If your bust size is 38 inches and your band is 35 which is an odd number then you will round off to the nearest even in this case 36 so the cup size will be 38 minus 36 so 2 inches means that your bra size is band 36 and the difference 2 which is a 36 b Sometimes people do ask, why can we not round off, say, a 35 inches to a 34, so an inch lesser than an inch higher? In this case, when you go an inch lesser, the chances of your band being too tight and uncomfortable is very high. Hence, we go an inch up. But ultimately, you need to see how the fit is when you are in the trial room. So that was it, no heavy duty jargons, simple easy way for you to measure your bra. Now I'm going to share some quick tips and please do remember that. Number one, these are called estimated sizing. What do you mean by estimated sizing? Now from within the brand, from Triumphs, but one particular style to another particular style, the bra sizing, the cut, the style could be different. And within two brands, the cut and the style could be different. So what it means by an estimated sizing is that if you are a 34D, according to the measurements that we did right now, then when you walk into a lingerie store, that is the base that you can start from. If you are a 34D, that doesn't mean that you need to start from a 30 or a 32 because you clearly know that your underband is 34 inches. So you need to start with 34 inches and then go from a D, a C or an E depending on how the sizing is. So it's an estimated sizing. Number two. If at all you are shopping online, every online store has a guideline on how to measure your bust. Write down those measurements and make a calculated choice. Number three, with a little weight gain or weight loss or a muscle gain, muscle loss, there is definitely a change in your bra size. So keep the measuring tapes handy and it will be easier for you to check your bra size easily at home number four none of your straps should dig in at the shoulder or your band should be tight if your shoulders your straps are digging in and creating a reddish structure or if your underband is tight that means that your bra is tighter you have either gained weight or your bra has shrunk whatever it is you need to recheck yourself and re measure yourself and lastly number five wearing the right size of bra is absolutely important not just from how it looks underneath your tops and dresses but in general a great fit bra should not hurt you dig into you or should not make you feel claustrophobic or uncomfortable I hope this how to measure your bra has been easier for you. If you have any questions, please let me know. Bye-bye.